Hello everyone. Welcome to Sailor School. In this video, we will be talking about stiff and tender ships. What do these terms mean? And how are they different from each other and much more? And of course, we will be looking on to the questions which will be asked by the oral exam surveyors. See, the only reason I am doing this video is to help you understand these topics and of course you might be familiar about these topics during your pre-C also because this topic is usually asked for both TMEs and cadets as well during the pre as well as during their mates examinations. Okay moving on to the differences between the stiff and tender vessels. Number one, stiff vessel has a large GM whereas the tender vessel has small GM. For people who don't know what GM means it is just a vertical axis present on the center line of the ship when viewed as midship section. So GM means you can find these two letters G and M. So G refers to the center of gravity which acts downwards whereas letter B means center of buoyancy acting upwards and letter M is the transverse meta center of the ship's body which is also known as the metacentric height. So basically for simple understanding stiff ship happens usually when more weight is added to the lower part of the ship and tender ship means when weight is loaded to the upper part of the ship away from the heel. So to prove my points which I'm speaking I'll be showing you some videos as well as this uh, differences which I'll be talking about. I hope that it will help you in understanding this topic very easily. Number two, angle of roll is small and period of rolling is minimum for strip shifts. But in tender ships, we can observe large angle of roll and period of rolling is also more when compared to the stiff ship. Number three, Rolling will be violent and irregular in stiff ship but on tender ships we can observe regular and smoother rolling. Point number 4. In third point we talked about rolling right. So obviously violent rolling means it will be more uncomfortable and due to jerky movements in stiff vessel. So in tender vessel rolling is smoother and regular right. So when we compare it to the stiff ship, so due to the regular rolling period, it will be less uncomfortable as compared to the stiff ship. So basically, if it is stiff ship, more uncomfortable and if it is tender ship, it is less uncomfortable. But I am sure you will be uncomfortable in the both the situation. It is just that the maximum and the minimum level of your uncomfortableness. Point number five. Stiff ships will be having severe stresses on hull, especially on the mid part of the ships when we compare it to the tender vessels. So in all the points which we have looked until now or discussed until now, it was only about construction and stresses. But now let us see how ship being stiff or tender affects the cargo which is loaded in the ship. Point number six on stiff ships if general cargo is loaded general cargo means like steel coils cotton bales etc or any other like uh, pulps etc let it be anything in general so moreover we are talking about the general cargo so general cargo will be more likely to shift due to the jerky rolling movements and stiff ship carrying bulk cargo will be less likely to shift as bulk cargo means it will be filled up to the brim in most cases and the movement of bulk cargo in inside the stiff ship will not be more as the rolling period is less and the rolling angle is also less. Now let us see what happens on tender ships. On tender ships general cargo is less likely to shift whereas the bulk cargo is more likely to shift. So it is the opposite of the stiff ship and the reason is that because the angle of roll is more and smooth so this causes slow and steady force to act upon the cargo present in the ships. The general cargo being tightly packed as a compact units 
they also being tightly latched can withstand but the bulk cargo which is not packed and they are in granular form so which is loaded without any lashing this will lead to shifting of bulk cargo when the angle of roll is more and steady unless the bulk cargo is filled completely inside the hold those are some exceptional scenarios okay so point number 7 stiff ships have greater ability to withstand loss of gm and transverse shift of cargo because gm is large in stiff ship and even if the ship lists it won't reach to maximum list as in stiff ship most of the cargo is loaded near to the keel i think you can just observe like a bulk carrier loading an iron ore is the most common example of a stiff ship because most of the cargo loaded will be towards the bottom and the cargo will not be filled completely inside the hold as well as the load density of the cargo is more tender ships have less ability to withstand the loss of gm and less ability to withstand the transverse shift of cargo because gm is very less in tender ships which can cause large angles of list to occur in case of heavy weather in such situations even having slack ballast tanks can cause the ship to capsize eventually classic example of tender ship is bulk carrier carrying grain cargo for stiff ship it was bulk carrier carrying iron ore now right now for tender ships it is bulk carrier carrying grain cargo so when you go for your second mates examination surveyors most commonly ask this one question in your oral examinations that is how do you like your ship to be stiff or tender and the answer for this question is is supposed to be presented like this sir i would like my ship to be neither stiff nor tender i want it to be in positive gm and intermediate or in between being the stiff and the tender part so because if too much stiff then the vessel can lead to unwanted vibration and the hull stresses will be maximum so it will be difficult to tackle heavy weather situation or any other uh, difficult circumstances which may arise on ship during the voyage and if the ship is completely tender then vessel has more chances of losing gm easily in case of any heavy weather or any other exceptional circumstances so this must be your answer or you can use your own words and create your own answer but the aspect or the prediction of the answer must be such that such that the surveyor should not cross question you again in any form you must have a basic knowledge of everything which we were talking about until now if he has any of the other points you can just uh, tackle him with the points which you know which we have talked right now example etc they will ask so everything we have discussed i am sure that uh, if you watch this video if the surveyor asks this question i hope that you will answer it in an excellent manner that is all guys we have come to the end of this video if you liked it please like comment and sub subscribe to sailor school support us to reach more people in need thank you so much for watching till the end